Welcome to another Farming Simulator 19 Guide to Assistance video with me, Mr. Searly P. I am on Felsbrun, I'm on Field 17, and in this assistance video, guide to whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be looking at maintenance and repair, the factors that influence it, and what happens to your vehicles and machinery with maintenance and repair what happens when you do repair what happens when you don't repair what happens if you don't right to the end um, it's kind of a test an experiment as much as anything else um, so hopefully we'll answer some questions along the way um, I have got a John Deere 6R it's standard in so much as engine is 280 horsepower haven't done anything to that I have put twins on it because I'm going to be ploughing on the back I've got the Lemkin Titan 11 plough which requires 240 horsepower now, as far as I'm aware so far the repair repairs on machinery seem to be a lot more rapid than they are on vehicles and here's the other thing you need to be aware of right off the bat your repairs and your light damage maintenance is linked to your dirt so your dirt settings are fast normal slow or off i'm going to start on fast i'm going to do the first bit we'll check and then i'm going to do each one and we'll see how it alters but they are linked so at the moment i've got dirt on fast which means the vehicle is going to get dirty really really quickly but it's going to affect the maintenance and repair of this vehicle as well so what i'm going to do start this up drop this down and I'm going to plough this field what I am going to do is open that out so it swings out there we go I'm going to plough this field this field will be the same each test I do so I'm going to plough the whole field then we're going to look at the vehicle and we're going to look at the machinery and see what needs to be done. Now, at the moment, this is ploughing at 7 miles an hour. 280 horsepower on the tractor, that's what I've got at the moment, and the plough requires 240 horsepower to pull it. Down the bottom right-hand corner, in the green gauge, that's our repair gauge. What we should see at the end of this test is that will have dropped. Now, that only shows you the tractor on that menu. It won't show you the machinery. The machinery you'll be able to check in the menu or um, at the store so what I'm going to do when I get to the end of the row very very quickly and I won't show you this for every time we do this is just going to be the first time round if I just stop there if I come into the menu here um, so the menu the vehicles menu and I go to garage that gives you the vehicles you've got and the bottom it says sell back and lease items now as far as I'm aware as well what's going to happen is at some point there's a trigger there's a tipping point and when your vehicle gets to a point where it needs repair at the bottom there will be also one saying repair at the moment i've just started so you can do it from here you don't have to go back to the store we'll have a look at that later and it should be as well the same for your machinery so we'll have a look at that in a bit as well so i'm going to see you in a little while once this field is done we'll check everything and I'll do it again. This is going to take me a lot longer than it's going to take you to watch. <laughs> but anyway, let's lift that up, turn it over, and I will continue. See you in a minute. So, what you'll notice now is that I'm almost at the end of this field, <clears throat> and I'm only ploughing at four miles an hour now. I started off at seven. Now I'm only ploughing at four miles an hour. Now interestingly, the tractor, while showing a fair bit of dirt on it, if I go into the menu, we are pretty much there. Let's fold that up. Actually, turn that. If we go into the menu, and we go to our garage the tractor hasn't come up with the repair icon yet if we go to the plow it says repair at the bottom l3 that repair icon came up after doing two complete circuits of the field so very very quickly the machinery degrades the tractor has degraded a bit 
bottom right hand corner if you look at the repair bar the green bar it has dropped a bit but not enough to trigger the repair icon coming up yet now I can only assume that the fact we're only ploughing at four miles an hour is down to the plough not down to the tractor but what I'm going to do very quickly I've placed the workshop and I've placed a jet wash because I'm curious <clears throat> I'm curious to see once this is clean what kind of damage it looks like it's in because they said it will show damage it will show wear and tear that kind of thing which actually looking at it now you can already see the scuffs and dings yep there's some there now the tractor itself whilst dirty now I'm not sure because I was also told a little while ago that the John Deere's in game don't show any wear and tear although the actual mechanics of it still work Teflon tractors that kind of thing you know um, but to be fair the repair icon hadn't come down far enough for that so looking at that yeah it's scratched up it's dinged it's in a bit of a state and it's to simulate that realism let's be honest ploughing a real field <clears throat> people are complaining saying the damage the repair stuff is happening too quickly I only did one field if farmer takes a plough out into the field he might get a quarter of the way through that field and a bolt might shear or a bracket might break or part of the frame might bend or a mould board might break or a finger snaps or he gets a puncture or something like that you could do five fields and nothing happen so they're trying to simulate the fact that yeah at the end of the day you take it back in you go over it all you grease everything up you check for broken fingers on headers it might be you know cutters cutter bars all, all sorts of stuff it might be your hydraulic pistons are leaking fluid it might be your three-point linkage one of your hydraulic hoses is leaking or you know your connectors aren't sealing properly or there are so many things that can go wrong with them so the test here is going to be on these different settings I think on the machinery the tractor I'm going to leave because I want to carry on plugging away with the tractor so we're running two tests at the same time here does the dirt setting affect dramatically how much damage occurs to implements but I want to see what happens when a tractor gets to the very very bottom um, of the repair thing if it's as bad as it can get what's going to happen to the tractor so what I'm going to do I'm going to back this into the repair point and we're going to repair the plough then I'm going to run this simulation oh no I can't can I oh. actually we'll repair both it's the only fair way to do the test and then I'll do the tractor one separately so let's go into here how much is it going to cost me to repair this? Scarily. Whoa, yeah, see that green bar is right way down, conditions down. Repair. 484. Is that what that says? Yeah. Yes, I will. Conditions back up to green. Fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see what condition the tractor's in. So all the scuffs and dings and scratches are now gone again. It's all lovely shiny blue. Let's see about the tractor, shall we? And we'll be comparing these. I'm going to change the dirt setting. I'm not going to put it on normal. The next one I'm going to do is slow. Because I'm curious. I'm just The normal one's going to be somewhere in between the two. The conditions barely changed on that. But repair is 314 yep we'll repair it fantastic now also people are complaining I mean, you know, the, the reason I'm doing this is people are asking about the repair situation but the thing about it is we don't have those overnight costs I like the fact that you're having to repair vehicles if you're using them the wear and tear on them if you don't use them you're not wearing them out therefore there's no repair fee on FS17 there was an overnight repair fee no matter what whatever happened repair fee so it is a better way of doing it but this is what we're looking at will the dirt affect how we do this i'm going to do a separate test to add on the end of this for the tractor to see what happens when we get to uh the worst condition possible what's going to happen to the tractor right see you in a second test two same tractor 
same plough, same field. All I'm going to change is where is it? Dirt. Dirt, I'm going to skip over normal because that will be somewhere between fast and slow and I'm going to put it on slow. We do exactly the same thing. I'm going to do the field and at the end of it we're going to see how much slower the plough is, how much it's slowed down the tractor or the ploughing, um, what the condition of it is, how much it costs to repair it and also the repair on the tractor. See it a bit. Okay, test two. Almost complete. I'm still ploughing at seven miles per hour. I've had no drop off in ploughing speed at all. So that's with the dirt set on slow. We skipped out normal. Um, that has made a difference already. Yeah. You can probably already tell looking at the machinery there don't seem to be the scrapes, dings and dents and marks and stuff that were on the other one what I also found was going around the field unlike the first test when we had dirt set on fast and after about two, two and a bit trips around the field the message had already come up for um, for repairs if I click back hook up and go into our garage menu both on the tractor and on the plough this time bottom court bottom of the uh, menu you got sell back leased the R3 or L3 L3 um, for repair didn't come up for the plough Okay, so let's see. Condition is still all in the green. It hasn't dropped down to nothing. <coughs> um, repair, 141, as opposed to 484 when we had the dirt set on fast. The icon came up very, very quickly to say it needed repair. When we went onto this menu, the condition, the green bar was down, almost gone. I've got it set on slow this time. I've missed out normal, and it's fine. Repair cost 141. Yes, we will repair it. Thank you very much. Tractor was 314 last time to repair. And just so, just to make it clear, I'm not carrying on from this save game. What I've done for each of the tests, I've had a save game. I've gone back to the start and reset it and done it again. So all the parameters, all the things are exactly the same. The only difference is what I set the dirt on. So, let's check the tractor out. Condition still very good. Repair. So that's 33. 33 as opposed to 314. Okay. So the key here is, if you want to keep your repair cost down, drop your dirt setting down. And again, I think it's, it's Giants giving those options. Repairs in here, it needs to be in here. I think it's part of it. I say it needs to be, it doesn't need to be, but it's in here. And you can set that to a hard mode if you want to as well, which, you know, they had to link it to something to get it to work. Now, as, the, uh, as of the time of recording this, this is how this is working. It may well be when the patch comes out sometime before Christmas, this could all change. I, I can't see it changing because the repair system, the damage and wear and tear needs to be linked to something and they've linked it to the dirt so when the dirt builds up the wear and tear occurs that's the most sensible way of doing it right, test 3, I will be back in a moment test 3, same tractor, same field, same plough what we'll do is just adjust that whichever way, I'll set it up in a minute um, the only thing I'm changing for test 3 is going to be dirt is going to be on not fast not slow off and we'll see what happens with that turned off i think you know where this is going to go but a quick test just to make sure then the final test test four is going to be the test on the tractor to see what happens when you have 
maximum wear and tear it needs maximum repair what difference does it make to the tractor that'll be test four Last trip and still ploughing at seven miles per hour. The tractor, as you can imagine, is immaculate. The plough is immaculate. This dirt's turned off, so it would be. No need to jet wash it. There's no damage, no wear and tear. condition is perfect repair nothing zero nothing to repair on it i did exactly the same field nothing needs doing so if you don't want any repair costs turn your dirt to off if you want to kind of do a nod to the repairs then put it on slow if you want to go hardcore and you'll be paying more realistic kind of repair costs and stuff Again, conditions fine. Repair. One dollar. Okay then. Um, then, by all means, go for it. Now, the only way I could test this was by using the plough. Each different piece of machinery will um, degrade in different ways. The plough slowed right down. So when I had it set on fast, the dirt on fast, um, it degraded, the condition got worse very, very quickly, the repairs needed to be done much, much sooner, and it got to a point where I was only running at four miles per hour. I'm assuming if I'd done that on a much bigger field, then that may have even slowed down even more than that. Um, so, for cedars, sprayers, all these various different things, there'll be different things that will alter, different things that will change, but there will be a degradation in their efficiency and the way they function. So, lastly then, it's gonna be onto the tractor. This is going to take me a bit of time, one, to work out how I'm going to do this exactly, because to get the condition to get right the way down to its poorest is going to take some time. So I'll try and work something out. I will get back to you in a second, for you, for me, not sure, um, and we'll see what difference it makes to the tractor when the condition's very, very poor and it needs maximum repair. So, this is the tractor. This is the same tractor that I used with the plough. We did the ploughing tests and we came to the conclusion that the machinery degrades fairly quickly depending on what dirt setting you have on. So we put the dirt setting on fast and it was a, a test to see now what happens to the tractor. It looks pretty dirty, it looks pretty grubby. There aren't, doesn't appear to be the scratches and sort of visible damage that there was on the plough. If we get in um, you'll see the repair bar, the spanner, is down as low as it will go. Um, six, nearly seven hours worth of work has got it to this point. Um, so, what we're going to do is we'll drive it into here just to check the condition setting. It should be as low as it can go. It's as low as it can go. Age, four days old. 6.8 hours nearly seven hours worth of work um the value has obviously dropped which it will do um and it does say repair i'm not going to do that just yet because here's the thing the question i've been asked repeatedly is if i keep doing repair work on my tractor which is costing x amount um is it worth me doing or shall i just let the repair bar drop what difference is it actually going to make well here's the thing it started no problem at all so unlike with the seasons mod on a 17 you might get starting issues no problem with starting well surely if there's a horsepower drop it's not going to reach its top speed no nope, still hits 32 miles per hour okay so i'm fathoming i'm trying to fathom where the issue is here then what can we have um okay maybe it's not going to plow or not plough properly. This is a 280 horsepower tractor with a 240 horsepower plough. If this is in its worst possible condition, then surely it's going to struggle to plough, isn't it? 
Um, this ploughed at seven miles an hour when it was in perfect condition. The plough's in perfect condition, so surely it can't plough at seven miles per hour anymore. No, still ploughs at seven miles per hour. So, here's the thing. My conclusion from this is that the repair and maintenance situation, does it make a difference? It does on machinery, ploughs, tools, implements. It should make a difference, and again, this may well change after the, up the update, after the patch on consoles, this may change, but as it stands at the moment, it's made no difference whatsoever to this tractor. The horsepower hasn't been affected, it still hits its top speed, it still starts properly, it still pulls that plough no problem at all. It's had no detrimental impact whatsoever. So let's have a look and see then what's it going to cost me to repair it. That would help if I was actually in the thing properly. I mean, it could do with a clean, but realistically, other than that... So to repair it. 1,962. Okay, not horrendous for it being in its worst condition, um, which I can do straight away. But realistically, do I need to? No. And that's with the actual um, dirt set on fast. If I set it on normal or slow or turned it off, wouldn't need to repair it at all. So if you've got a tractor that's wearing out, so to speak, and it's in need of repair, do you need to repair it? My advice, no. Um, unless it's different for different tractors, but I can't see how they would code that in to make that different. Um, and that's kind of the conclusion. Machinery, tools, equipment tends to wear down far quicker than it does the actual vehicles, the tractors and things themselves. Um, it is definitely worth repairing these because they slow you down, they don't work as efficiently, that kind of thing. As far as the tractor, haven't noticed any difference whatsoever. So, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.